Stuff may be delayed, but the process of God is always on time. Zachariah was praying, asked for a son, couldn't get a son. Was, uh, Elizabeth was barren until the process of God yes, sir. was complete. Yes, sir. So could it be that the things that we are looking for have not manifested because the process of God is still in process. All right. That's good, right? Yeah. Y'all good? Amen. Okay, let me just give you one more or a couple more things. So John does not execute his priestly office in the context of being a ceremonial priest because the lamb and the high priest and the payment for sin was coming after him. And when Jesus would take up his ministry, he would be the high priest that would offer to God the ransom for sin once and for all. So the, the advent of Jesus really abolishes, it does away with the priestly function. All right. Oh, y'all ready for this? Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Right. All right. What's it? Ready for this? Yes, it does away with the priestly function from the Old Testament. But guess what the New Testament says? Now he has caused us to sit together yeah. in yeah. heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. That's what the New Testament says. Now we are a kingdom of priests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, right? <laughs> We're a kingdom of priests. Yes, what does that mean? That you preach, you preach, you preach, you preach, you preach. And watch this. You ain't no priest this is. Because in him there is neither male nor female. Watch this. And as a priest, our function is not to kill animals and to slay them. Our function is to be before God's presence, offering and serving him, the priest serving him. Yes, yes, yes. So when you, let me, let me give you this little instruction. So when you see, um, when you see me and other elders coming in um, with our um, choir dress, that white, the white surplus is the priest garment. The black kasa is the servant's garment. That is at the basis of any, any minister, any, it's black, it's servants. The white is the priest's garment. Yeah. Right? Right. right? So watch this. The black says that we serve people. Yeah. The white says we serve the Lord. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So that we are now a kingdom of priests serving God. The process is always on time. Y'all got that? Yes. Zachariah, Elizabeth. Now notice this. I want to get back to their names. Zachariah's name is Jehovah Remembers. Come on. Isn't that amazing? Yes. That what he wanted was a son. He was barren, but God never forgot his prayer. All right. All right. Can I say something to you tonight? That there is never an insignificant prayer meeting. You will never come to God in prayer and He dismisses it as though He didn't hear you. All right, all right. So, what you've been praying about? So, whatever it is you've been asking the Lord, God remembers. Just because you haven't seen it today, y'all ready for this? You haven't seen it today because God's process is still in place. Yeah. Right? Come on. Right? I'm trying to figure out how to, how to um, illustrate this. Okay. You'll figure out that um, I preach by revelation and I got this. Watch this. Um, God's process is still in place. So let me give it to you like this. I'm trying to think of something. Let me try to use this. Now I need your imagination, all right? Can you all imagine with me? 
This is um, this is a tape. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Elder Stewart, I need you to uh, go to that wall. Um, Elder Stewart represents um, uh, represents you praying. I represent God listening. The table represents God's manifestation. But look at the table. It's whole. Okay? Here's the issue. He's praying. Where's he praying? No, okay. In the concept of this particular lesson, where is God, first of all? Where's God? Where's God? Far, everywhere. everywhere. But we will say he's in heaven. So we'll say that, let's not say heaven, let's say God is in eternity. Where's he at? And now. He's in time. So he's praying in time. God's hearing in eternity. And so when God hears his prayer, God then manifests what he prayed for. And God sends it from eternity into time. Because I can't do that. Be God. Come back. He's praying. He's asking God. Let's use him as Zacharias now. You're Zacharias praying for something. He's praying in time. God in eternity is listening. God creates John. Manifestation. Now all of a sudden, he keeps praying. And the more he prays, then he draws God to his prayer. But the spatial difference between eternity and time is what we call promises. Watch this. Because when God speaks, God doesn't speak in bits and pieces. He speaks as the whole thing. So when God speaks a word to you, he's already spoken the whole thing from the rooter to the tutor. Right. Right. But because God's in eternity talking, and we're in time listening, each time can't handle this whole thing uh, like that. Ah, uh, that's good. So time has to break it up. Yeah. Now is your imagination? Yeah. And so we take a piece yeah. of the whole. Ah. Uh. And we deliver it in time. Come to me. And we call the peace of the whole a promise. Now God sees it as the whole. But we're only holding on to a piece of the whole. Because it's a promise. Because the spatial difference between eternity and time. Watch this. So it keeps coming. But now it's broken up. But what did he do? He kept worshiping. Because what we don't understand Thank is that Jesus. if we get a piece of the whole, God will never speak to you in pieces. But you gotta worship.